Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see principles of software testing. There are seven principles of software testing. First one, testing shows presence of defects. Exhaustive testing is impossible. Early testing, defect clustering, pesticide paradox. Testing is context dependent. Absence of error fallacy. Let's see each principle in detail. Testing shows presence of defects. The goal of testing is to make the software fail. Sufficient testing reduces the presence of defects. In case testers are unable to find defects after repeated regression testing doesn't mean that the software is bug free. Testing talks about presence of defects and don't talk about absence of defects. Second one, exhaustive testing is impossible. Here we have two questions. What is exhaustive testing and why it's impossible? Let's know answers. What is exhaustive testing? Testing all functionalities using all valid and invalid inputs and preconditions is known as exhaustive testing. Why it's impossible to achieve exhaustive testing? Assume we have to test an input field which accepts age between 18 to 20. So we do test the field using 18, 19, 20. In case the same input field accepts the range between 18 to 100. Then we have to test using inputs such as 18, 19, 20, 21 and so on, 99, 100. It's a basic example. You may think that you could achieve it using automation tool. Imagine the same field accepts some billion values. It's impossible to test all possible values due to release time constraints. If we keep on testing all possible test conditions, then the software execution time and cost will raise. So instead of doing exhaustive testing, we will take risk and priorities into consideration while doing testing and estimating testing efforts. Early testing Defects detected in early phases of SDLC are less expensive to fix. So conducting early testing reduces the cost of fixing defects. Earlier we made a video on SDLC. Check out that video for more understanding on SDLC and its phases. Assume two scenarios. First one is you have identified an incorrect requirement in the requirement gathering phase. And the second one is you have identified a bug in the fully developed functionality. It is cheaper to change the incorrect requirement compared to fixing the fully developed functionality which is not working as intended. Defect clustering Defect clustering in software testing means that a small module of functionality contains most of the bugs or it has the most operational failures. As per the Pareto principle, 80% of issues comes from 20% of modules and remaining 20% of issues from remaining 80% of modules. So we do emphasis testing on 20% of modules where we face 80% of bugs. Pesticide paradox Pesticide paradox in software testing is the process of repeating the same test cases again and again. Eventually, the same test cases will no longer find new bugs. So to overcome the pesticide paradox, it is necessary to review the test cases regularly and add or update them to find more defects. Testing is context dependent. Testing approach depends on context of the software we develop. We do test the software differently in different contexts. For example, online banking application requires a different approach of testing 
compared to e-commerce site absence of error fallacy 99% of bug free software may still be unusable if wrong requirements were incorporated into the software and the software is not addressing the business needs the software which we built not only be a 99% bug free software but also it must fulfill the business needs otherwise it will become an unusable software this is all about principles of software testing thanks friends if you have any queries please comment below if you did enjoy this video be sure to like the video please subscribe for more videos thank you have a good day